so welcome back everyone today we will learn what is bypass diode which is used in solar panel and what is the purpose does it serve a solar panel is a collection of solar cells lots of such solar cells are connected in series to form the solar panel when light hit on the solar panel electricity is generated more the light hit the panel the more the electricity it produces now i will tell you more about what is bypass diode and why it is used when we buy new solar panels if we look at the back side we can see built in diode connector across the positive and negative terminal of the panel These diodes are called bypass diodes and these are connected in reverse bias mode. So, in general, what we do in a solar panel is we split the total number of cells into three groups and connect a diode across each group of cells. Now I will tell you the purpose of using uh, bypass diode in a solar panel. Bypass diodes are used to reduce the power loss in a solar panel experienced due to partial shading. Now I am going to explain that in more detail. During normal operation of solar panels, that is when all the cells are conducting, the flow of current would be like this as you see. In this condition, the bypass diode ideally will not pass any current through it now i will tell you what happens when shading occurs now imagine that a part of the cells of the panel experiencing partial shading then these cells oppose the flow of current generated by the other cells which leads to panel heat up and power loss and also it can create local hot spots the bypass diode helps to get rid of these issues So instead of going through the high resistance path the current would take a low resistance path and that low resistance path is provided by this diode So instead of going through the solar cells the current passes through the diode which improves the system performance and reduces the loss So let me conclude this the bypass diodes are used in a solar panel for two reasons First one is to improve the overall system performance of the module by reducing the losses and the second one is to provide a greater amount of product safety by avoiding the chances of formation of local hot spots so that concludes the discussion thanks for watching